Mind Factory Targa <laughs> against uh, Mouse Card Coaches Moro. Game two is going to be played on Shakura's Plateau. I think that's a map that uh, Moro in particular feels very, very, uh, yeah. very, very uh, good on. Confident. Stylistically, this is the ultimate Moro map. He's a guy that likes to sit back yes. and turtle up and just get to that point where he feels like, okay, now I can't die. And uh, Shakura's Plateau, probably the best map that's ever been made for that style, maybe with the exception of something like Kulos Ravine. Yeah, but uh, um, maybe this is even better than Kula. And the reason for that is just because you can control that center. You put units up on the uh, high ground tanks on those cliffs. Oh, they're so brutal. And um, and once you're controlling that middle, it becomes very hard for Zerg to take these low ground expansions. You know, one of my favorite uh, TVTs of all time on this map? Uh, I know. I think it's my favorite, too. <laughs> say it. Don't it make me say it. It was the, uh, the, the radioactive Terran. Yes. Against uh, the Panzer General. Yes. Uh, of course, we are, uh, we are talking about Goody versus Beastie. It was not a super famous game. I think we casted it in one of our Gopher Sography tournaments. I have no idea, but it was so incredible. Yeah. So everybody hated playing against Goody uh, in TVT on that moment because uh, everybody was still kind of rolling with Bio, but Goody was already playing Mech. Uh, well, Goody was still playing Mech. <laughs> or Goody hmm. started Mech. Goody invented Mech. This is interesting, Kev. 11-11. Very aggressive opening, so I'm just going to make this a short story. And uh, every Terran in Europe hated to play against Goody. And then, uh, as Ben called him, the radioactive Terran, also known as uh, BCQT Terran. That's because the, of that game. Yeah, that's the game that earned him that name. Yeah. And BC is like, all right, if you want to play Mac, I'll play Mac too. And uh, Goody was, of course, feeling very confident. He's like, okay, uh, well, I do this pretty much every single game, so I'm going to be very Saka good. says, Goody uh, <laughs> brings you down to his level and beats you with experience. Yeah, I think Cloud said that. But <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so anyway, BC just went for Mac. He had tanks positioned everywhere, bunkers, missile turrets. It was a complete standoff. And then he just started to be super active with dro uh, with Ghost. Like, he sent out Metavax with one Ghost, and he started nuking all over the place. Five, six, seven places at once. He nuked, and he killed so many SCVs. Goody lost his entire main base on the left top side of the map, and on a certain moment, Goody, despite still having 140 supply of yeah, mech army, yeah, he was army, basically max. Like it would yeah. be a maxed army if he had his SCVs. Yeah, it was it definitely. It was like a maxed army if he had his SCVs. He didn't lose a single real tank, and Goody just said GG, <laughs> and, <laughs> and we were like, good. "Wow, BCQT just out maxed Goody." <laughs> yeah, he out Goody, Goody. <laughs> Yeah, that was awesome. Anyways, Targa is aware of the very aggressive opening over here from Moro. He has control of this Seldanger Watchtower as well, Ben. So tell us, what should a Zerg do right now? Uh, I think he's doing the exact right thing. He's over pulling these drones. He knows that he can't allow bunkers to go up. This is the most aggressive two racks variation that you're ever going to yep. see, guys. 11 11. Uh, Moro wants to get these bunkers up at the top of the ramp. Targa has to stop it. One of them goes up oh, or starts to go up. And uh, oh, Targa's got a couple drones in a really bad spot on the low ground. So. Uh, but eight links are about to pop. He did save a little bit of time. Of course, losing drones is not something you want to have happening. So far, he lost. Uh, oh, no, but if another bunker goes up, he's going to be stuck. Targa. Ah, uh, that's bad. Yep, certainly with three Marines over here already. He's going to try to force a cancel on the, the bunker with most HP. It's going to be close. Uh, it's going to be very close. The bunker will fall. A couple links going to get through. Some drones going to come through as well. But is it going to be enough? I'm, I'm not sure that it is. Well, he's uh, going to have a spine crawler, but he's losing a really big amount of drones right now. Uh, drones finally, the fighting drones go back to mining, but it's not going to matter. Uh, there's uh, going to be at least, target. yeah, there's going to be two completed bunkers. And um, can the bunker hit the spine? No, but it can hit the hatchery. And the problem here is that mm -hmm. the uh, the spine crawler cannot out DPS the repair. That's not the only real problem right now. Well, that's definitely a problem. I do agree with you. But the other problem is that Targa only has seven drones left, Ben. And Muro is already at 15 SCVs. Of course, he has an orbital command as well. And that's uh, that problem is about as big as the spine yeah. not being able to kill this yeah. bunker. Moro's build so refined. He didn't build a second depot. He used that first energy to yep. call down some supply. So sick. Uh, just investing completely in the uh, in the barracks aggression. Wow, what a mind game by Moro, taking the best macro map possible yep. and then going for the most aggressive two racks in the book. Uh, Targa's going to have one last chance to bust out. Here he goes with all of his lings. Uh, but uh, beautiful control by Moro. Pulls back the SCVs. Doesn't really lose anything. GG wow. out of Targa. That's a perfect bunker position as well. And like in range to, to hit the hatch, but not actually uh, the, S the spine crawler not in range to do something about the SCVs repairing the bunker. That was good stuff by Moro. Brutal. Really, really brutal. It's a very hard two racks to hold. Um, I mean, I felt that the start was sort of okay, even though there were two drones trapped on the low ground, yeah. which is sort of unnecessary. I, I, I really think those, uh, that's not the one thing that, mm -hmm. that ended it for him, but those... Those two drones would have added a lot yeah. of damage, believe it or not. They would have added a lot of damage absorption. Yeah. Get them stuck down there hurt really badly. Those drones had some serious meat on them, man. Kind of like you. 
<laughs> where do you get off calling me fat? Like, where, 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 it's because I don't I even feel, understand It's because this. I feel insecure about myself, Ben. So Man. I, I like to leave it out of you. Yesterday, Ben and me did some streaming from home, and we had a webcam on the, our little table, and one guy tunes in on the chat, he just a chat. He's like, oh, wow, Mr. Bitter really gained some weight. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> It's probably my favorite uh, chat comment of all unbelievable, time. Unbelievable, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Azo Monitors for uh, sponsoring that last game. And we're going to kick it to a commercial, and we'll be back with Game 3, The Decider, Target versus Morrow.